Are you currently planning your wedding day timeline and you're not sure when to do your speeches when it comes to your wedding breakfast? I can thoroughly recommend after doing over 400 weddings that doing your speeches before your wedding breakfast or after your wedding breakfast is definitely the way to go. When people choose to do their speeches between courses, it can cause so many issues with your other suppliers, including your photographers and your videographers, but not just us. Your caterers have to plan when the food is coming out. If you are doing speeches in between courses, there can be delays in the food coming out and there can also be times when the food comes out and it's not quite as hot as you'd like because speeches often overrun or they are much shorter than people think they're gonna be and therefore it's really hard for your caterers to judge when the next course needs to come out. From a photographer's and videographer's point of view, we don't want to come back into the room while people are still eating because no one wants photos with mouthfuls of food. And also, we don't really want to be taking photos when there's leftovers still on the table and the plates haven't been cleared away. The wedding breakfast is also a time for your videographers and photographers to sit, have a little chill out and have a bit of food themselves. If you are wanting us to be on hand, in the room, ready to do speeches in between each course, we don't actually get to eat until after the wedding breakfast and this can have a knock-on effect on the timeline of the day. I hope you found this useful. If you want any more hints and tips about planning your wedding day timeline, then drop me a message in the comments.